Right then, today we're back in World War One with Battlefield One. Dice's rotation this week. We've moved on from Supply Drop last week, and now we're on to the French DLC on Conquest, which is great for me because I think that that DLC was the best one for the game. We're playing around on Rupture. There's a mix of classes in here, different weapons, just generally having a good time with an old Battlefield game. But we are using a different PC for today's video. The channel sponsor Acer, they've come in with their Nitro 5 gaming laptop. Now, you might remember a few weeks back me showing you another one of their gaming laptops, but this one has more of a focus on value whilst providing some great internal hardware. Now, the unit I've got here is equipped with a Core i5 processor, 8GB of RAM, and a GTX 1650 graphics card tied together with a 1080p 60Hz IPS panel. So, it's got good hardware inside and a good panel for color reproduction. It comes with Acer's Aero Cool Fan technology to keep all of those parts nice and ventilated during your gameplay sessions, and you can control that directly within their NitroSense software if you want to. All gameplay today is coming from this Nitro 5 unit. You'll be able to see the FPS counter in the top right hand corner. With a 60Hz display, we'll be looking to keep things running around 60FPS for optimal performance. If you want to check out the Nitro 5, click the link at the top of the description. It will take you over to the product page. And there's a few different specs on there as well. This unit I'm using is the entry level one, but it can be specced up with an i7 processor, a 1660 Ti graphics card, and a 144Hz panel as well at the very top end. And it's actually very reasonably priced as well. But now on with the action. Who doesn't want to revel in some Battlefield 1 nostalgia? Okay, here we go. Just after the round started. Oh, there's a tank already. And I'm not an assault player, even though I'm holding what looks like an assault rifle. <laughs> Completely forgot that the Fedorov is on the medic class. Oh. We'll see. There's two of them. We've got to be careful. Being surrounded at. Oh, hang on. You hit the horse and you kill the horse whilst the cavalryman is on it. Ouch. See you later. You're dead. <laughs> oh my god! No, no, no. This is getting a bit ridiculous. Tank! No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh man, the ragdolls in this game are brilliant. There you go, pick you up. I'm gonna get over to E pretty quick. I can hear a horse. There it goes. Did some uh, some good damage there. Where's the gun? A little bit more. Sometimes even those little bits can help. What are you doing? Leave him alone. Leave the mortar guy alone. Oh, there's a player there. It's a sniper. Pick you up in a minute, lad. Don't know if I'm going to be able to get him. Oh! Couldn't quite get him. This team are pretty good, to be fair. I do like the Fedorov. It just fires a little bit slow, if I'm honest. I'm used to the faster rates of fire of, uh, of Battlefield 5 now. If you go back to Battlefield 1, it's kind of like the dawn of of war, so a lot of these automatic weapons, they didn't fire particularly fast. Apart from the machine guns. Last episode using the M14. <laughs> that was uh, the MG14, that was a bit ridiculous. Thank you very much for the health that I was already giving myself. Oh, uh, I see someone on the minimap down here. I'm just gonna pop that down the end. Oh, there's a tank. Um, how do we go about this? couple more hits. Kind of a bit stuck in on this D point. You know what? I'm going to get out of that choke. I'm going to try and flank round here. There we go. Oh, I hear another vehicle. Oh, goodness me. There we go. In we got rid of... Ow, that was going to hurt. Uh, there's a flare now. They're going to see me. <laughs> they got us on lockdown a little bit. Coming away from that. Oh, <laughs> he saw me through the smoke. 
as I said in the intro, you are able to see the uh, the FPS in the in the top right hand corner of the screen of this Nitro 5. I'm quite impressed it's managing to hold 60. You might not be able to see the number very well. I don't know the command in Battlefield 1 to make the FPS counter bigger. Because that's the one that's built into the game. It's not like from GeForce Experience or anything like that. So uh, as long as it's green, that means it's running at 60 or thereabouts. So at the moment, it's doing a pretty solid job. Look at this guy crawl into victory. <laughs> We've got to try and take some other objectives. We've only got that's one at the moment, and that's just not good enough. Where's this guy? You're dead. I reckon there's people under the bridge. Well, maybe not. No, I don't think there is, but we can take the bridge now because there's no one on it. Beautiful. Our people on the bridge. He's trying to hit the plane. What are you doing? Just draw attention to where we are. Fantastic. Well done. Didn't expect that, did you, mate? Oh, no. Oh, God, I landed in the water. Got to get back on this objective. Yes. Oh, my God. It's getting a bit chaotic. There's a cavalry officer. Oh, I got... Oh, I thought I got bayoneted. I was going to say that would have been uh, largely humiliating. All right, we've got two objectives now. We're holding on to two, which is important. But I think there's more I can do as a, as a sniper, potentially. We've got to try and take C. We've got to try and take that. Nice. We've got to just push a little bit. I forgot the flares don't hang in the air in this game. They sit on the ground. Oh, I nearly had that guy. Oh, hit through the woods. Oh, he's run away. He's run away. <laughs> With suppression, I pulled that one off. We are losing objective dark. Our behemoth has arrived. Oh, silence 1911. Let's just use this as a primary for a minute. Where? Where on the bridge? Yeah, they are on the bridge. Headshot. Whoa! <laughs> yes. I think the 1911 is... Uh, is it a three hit or a two? It, it, I think it might be a three hit kill in this game, you know. You're dead. Oh, that's a hit, midair. Oh, no, 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 no! Leave me alone! Ah, he's going to take him down for me. Brilliant, that's nice. Whoa! What the hell just hit us? Was that from a tank? It has to have been from a tank. Surely. And where am I being shot from? Flare up. Oh. Cavalry. Oh, I thought it was going to hit him. No! We've lost that second objective. They're pulling away a little bit here. A little unknown secret. or Well, it's well, it's known, but... You can come out of the combat area, and you can take a sword from the stone. <laughs> nice little Easter egg if you ever play around on Rupture. Right, we've got to take this bridge back. It has to be ours. I just don't know where they are. They might be... Oh, there's one there. He's dead. Take a bit of damage off that guy. He's dead. Come on. Wow. That guy's dead. Oh! What the hell? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Did we not know that that wasn't a friendly? Did we just not know? Oh my goodness me, they're everywhere. <laughs> I was getting so confused then. You get a couple of kills to finish off the round. I'll take them. Why not? But there we go. A nice round of the French DLC in Battlefield 1.
Huge shout out to Acer for sponsoring this video with their Nitro 5 laptop. As I mentioned in the intro, if you want to check out this model that I'm playing on here or any of the other models, then there's a link in the description. I think it takes you to over to a website where they're selling all the different models right now. And yeah, I've been pretty impressed with its performance. If you want something that's going to run games looking good at 60 FPS, nice looking screen, good processor, good RAM. Oh, I disabled that. Beautiful. I'll take that for the end of the round. But yeah, shame about losing, but the laptops performed pretty well. <laughs> Just want to check the scoreboard, actually. 45 and 17. Do you know what? I'm going to take that as a moral victory for me. <laughs> Even though we lost, I won. But yeah, big thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next week for another Battlefield 1 video on the weekly rotation.